hi guys uh, let's take a quick look at the unity addressable asset system uh, so right now like before the addressable system the way a developer uses unity assets is uh, first he needs to decide if the asset is always needed in a scene and if yes then he just direct references that asset and that asset is packaged along with the build okay and second if certain assets are needed on demand like you know special effects uh, which we might not always need but only in certain conditions uh, we will put them in the resources directory and we will use resources.load uh, to load them and instantiate them and while packaging it again has to be within the build and the third scenario is like extra content like DLCs or extra skins which you might want to provide to the user uh, after they have downloaded your game so in that case the way you deal with the, that content is by using the asset bundle workflow and the entire asset is delivered by a remote CDN and that's how the packaging works currently uh, but with the new Unity Atmos service system like you don't have to make consider three different scenarios you just need to uh, refer the asset or load it using addressable dot load asset uh, which is an asynchronous method and the way you do it is uh, by creating asset references to your assets uh, you can also group similar kind of assets using labels and the addressable system will take care of uh, fetching that asset whether it's from you, your build or whether it's located in a remote CDN. Uh, we'll take a look at the code and the setup in the next video.